Mr. Investor, welcome back, guys. Oh my goodness, Nano Dimensions, we done it again, baby. So they've just come out with this article over here. You're looking juicy. We're going to be talking about smart fabrics. Nano Dimensions are actually killing the game. They've got their finger in all the pies. I'm going to be talking about smart fabrics and how they can make your life so much more comfortable and enhance not only the professional game, the consumer market, but also another industry. In which people might not be thinking about yet so upon this news it looks like nano dimensions is climbing in pre-market value we may very well hit ten dollars tomorrow so i think you're going to like what i've got for you here today and i'm going to give you a different perspective to this article that you may not have seen before if you guys are new to the channel my name is miguel i'm a retail investor here in london and i look for the biggest juiciest growth stocks i want a 20x i want a 30x 50x my money baby and I think I found one right here with Nano Dimensions. If you'd like to join the family, literally just click the join button down there. It's only 99 cents a month. I want to say thank you first of all to my members. So whoever's clicked the join button down below and click membership, you guys have helped me out so much. Thank you for joining. Every single month I'm going to receive that membership fee and you're going to help me to create videos and bring the best content out. I'm literally here every day looking at nano dimensions, looking at the best juiciest stocks and I want to bring you up to date information and give you an alternative perspective to what's going on. If you guys are unable to join, just please click like on this video and click subscribe and it's more than enough for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Okay, so let's get straight into this. This is nothing new to nano dimensions. I found some old articles here from 2016 showing that they've been working with European leaders. Um, to actually create smart textiles and smart fabrics for quite a long time. So here, this Market Watch article was talking about how it can be used in sports and fitness and how it's potentially very good to make our lives more comfortable and also disrupt the professional market. Let me just give you some context first. This is Player Maker. This is an Israeli company. They've got this kind of like ankle-like monitor that looks like you've just come out of Guantanamo Bay, you're fresh out of prison, and you're on tag. So this monitor here on the ankle is actually an innovative piece of tech, which actually allows you to measure the amount of touches you're doing, your stride length, the speed that you're running at. It utilizes the reading of biometric data in order to help you enhance your performance. So the basic versions, you see people wearing those little breast tops, those titty tank tops um, all of those footballers are measuring their speed and their distance and also maybe heart rate this piece of tech actually measures the amount of touches you make so they're seeing that as like very innovative in uh, football in soccer if you guys know london football teams this guy has been a manager for arsenal for a very long time he's retired now but since retiring he actually joined player maker because he can see the innovation in the tech and uh, during his reign at Arsenal, he was a really good manager and he was actually looking at revolutionizing all the time, how to improve his players. And he looks at data. So he looks at the data of how fast does this player run? What would be the best player to play in this position according to the data and the stats? So in terms of the professional teams, Nano Dimensions could be helping print these smart fabrics for football teams and the fitness market around the world. And look at the day-to-day -day average consumer. Instead of having to wear an Apple Watch or I usually carry my phone when I'm going for a run and it reads all of the data, so the distance, the time, the speed I'm running at, all of that key data in order to analyze my performance, you can now store in a smart fabric. How crazy is that? That is going to be an amazing product. So here's a 3D printing article from September 20th, 2016. They're talking about smart bandages, virtual reality gloves, sportswear that manages body temperature and in terms of the features of smart fabric it's endless here they were talking about the champions of nanotechnology innovation nano dimension and how they have cracked the code on making these virtual dreams a reality so one of the problems with achieving this you know smart fabric was making something that is wearable durable foldable and um, it will stand the test of time as well as collect your data and analytics so in 2016, the Israel-based Nano Dimension Technologies conducted a successful test for 3D printing of conductive traces onto a treated fabric. So this was in collaboration with a European producer of functional textile fabrics. And when they were looking at this industry originally, they were seeing it as an 800 million industry back then in 2016, and they saw it to be a 4.7 billion industry by 2020. But as we know, the consumer and technology has evolved and the demand for having smart devices, smart gear has gone through the roof. We're seeing Apple Watches sell out. We're seeing all of these apps pop up on our phones in order to track our fitness. Lots of the gym and fitness industry is all about improvements. You know, when you go to the gym and when you go into fitness, you want to see how fast can I run? How far can I run? Can I improve myself? 
all of this key data is a nice touch to just monitor your progress. So within this Market Watch article, they were talking about researchers now evaluating new possibilities to functionalize fabrics or textiles with emerging technologies to improve the lifestyle of the consumer. So as I was saying to people before, Nano Dimensions is always looking at how to make it cost effective and how to produce faster. So they want to make things cost effective and mass manufacture lots of electrical components, high performance electrical devices. So the advancements in nanotechnology and microfabrication technologies have enabled miniaturization process, which makes smart sensors cost effective and drives future market of smart fabric in fashion and entertainment. The 3D printing production processes and nanomaterials developed by Nano Dimension have the potential to resolve this challenge and help create an efficient production technology for smart textiles. So they were talking about this huge concentration of organizations that could manufacture and they'll benefit from the wearable technology gadgets. So they're talking about fitness trackers, they're talking about team shirts, all of this stuff, training gear, wearable kind of fabrics, right, and textiles. But what if they were to make this kind of a biometric reading wearable fabric for hospital gowns? Now that is a game changer. And if they're able to look at, you know, heart rate, they're looking at temperature, they're looking at uh, blood pressure, it will literally be so innovative because it will absolutely disrupt the industry. We have so many different machines that we're constantly running around on and we have to check, you know, patients' blood pressure, temperature, heart rate, respirations per minute. If they were already wearing a gown and it just uploads through the internet of things, wireless communication straight to the portal and it shows how your patient is doing and then the AI robot will actually then communicate with the nurse and say, hey, patient's in danger or hey, patient is fine. This would be crazy. So I think the industry that will benefit the most from this advancement in smart fabrics and textiles is actually the medical industry in smart gowns and smart wear for patients. It's probably something they may look into in the future. Don't take my word for it. I'm just speculating here. But if they can actually innovate for sport here and they can monitor, you know, key biometric data and analytics there, of course, they'll look into other fields too. So this article was talking about the United States and how there will be a huge market there for smart fabrics. But I think this could be worldwide, baby. I think this is great news for Nano Dimensions. And you can see in the pre-market value, we're now up 3.7%. Uh, as soon as the article was published and uh, YouTubers started to review it as well, we can see people are now bullish on buying the stock again. And we may very well see $10 tomorrow. Remember, none of this is uh, financial advice. It's all for entertainment purposes only. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it valuable and entertaining. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can click subscribe button. If you'd like to join and actually help me, you can click channel memberships there. Just click the join button. 99 cents per month and you'll be helping me create content and bring you updates and give you different perspectives. Also, drop me some comments below, guys. Just tell me what you think is going to happen tomorrow when we open. Will we see above $10? What's your price prediction in the future for Nano Dimensions? What's your holdings? And what do you make of this? Do you think that um, my idea surrounding, you know, this kind of medical devices, how you can disrupt the medical industry and have smart gowns, do you think that would be beneficial for the world? And do you think it's something that Nano Dimensions would be able to achieve with these smart fabrics? Let me know in the comments below. Much love. Mr. Investalot. Over and out, baby.